Well, hello, my friends, and happy Sunday to you. It's Sean Petit for another Sunday Inspiration video, and I'm so glad to be here with you today. And so today I am working in my handmade journal, and I'm working with basically three colors to start with. No paper, can you believe it? Um, just stepping outside of my comfort zone 100% on this, on this uh, page. Um, but I'm working in some cerulean blue, blue hue and some white chalky gesso from DecoArt. And um, I'm just really mixing them together, um, picking up some blue and then picking up some white and just kind of being free and spreading them around the page, working in my triangle to get some even distribution of the paint. And these are all medium body paints that I'm working with. I'm really just playing and having fun. And this green, this is um, olive green light and it goes really yellow on camera but it's not that yellow in reality. Um, and again I'm using the white chalky gesso with it and I mix it in with that cerulean blue um, and I love the color. It's kind of a teal, a dirty teal kind of color and I, oh, it makes me happy. And I'm just playing and, and seeing where I can put new color or mix new color and create highlights and lowlights. And now I can start painting with my fingers. And I started painting with a brush for the sole reason to do something different. Uh, my word for this year is discover, and so I'm trying to just discover some fun things. And I have to say, I love using my fingers more than I do the brush. So once I got all of the colors down, um, there was a lot of paint on my page. And so I put a paper towel down to kind of pick up some of that paint and to mat it down and create some texture. Oh man, was it lovely. And the paper towels afterward were almost as lovely. So I'll be using those in another project. So I put down some high flow, golden high flow acrylic in teal and really created some yummy drips. All of the supplies are going to be listed on the blog. The link to the blog is down below in the YouTube description, so check that out. Uh, more pictures and more description and all the supplies and links. So now I've got some Marabou um, Art Spray in purple and my Geo Duo stencil just to create some contrast. And that purple and that green together is fantastic more drips for more interest and now I'm bringing in some of the warm colors and I'm, this is quinacridone magenta and that chalky gesso and just smooshing it in my stencil and playing and getting some good pattern and contrast This is my Mediterranean Duo stencil, and I need—I felt like I needed one more spot of that um, quinacridone, magenta, and gesso. So I picked that pattern and um, added that color. Time for some marks and some neutralizing. So black and white are kind of neutralizing, kind of pushes things back, and so that's what I'm doing now. This is my scribble marks, one of the scribble marks stencils. So now I'm just journaling my intentions, my thoughts for 
the page for the quote that I have, just kind of getting it all out, then using my non-dominant hand and making some scribbles. I use a Stabilo Woody pencil in black and a white China marker. So now I know that I'm going to have a focal point and some words on there and I need to kind of highlight those areas so those things really stand out. So I'm using my pressed paper technique and um, I love the fact that the Stabilo pencil is water soluble and as I'm putting that white down um, it mixes and creates this really cloudy gray um, mysterious feel and I, I love that. So this is uh, the sketched flowers stencil and the reason I chose this stencil was because the patterns are really um, soft and childlike and simple and kind of whimsical and to me that that represented joy and so that was the meaning for choosing the stencil to go along with the actual quote. So now I'm using my script uh, Fave Fonts stencils, one and two, and I'm using Joy and Journey in those. And then I'll, I'll grab some stamps that I've had forever and some archival ink and stamp out the rest of the quote. And as I stamp these out, the top find, <clears throat> so the quote is find joy in the journey, and the find up there did not stand out very well at all. So I, at the end I come back and you'll see me kind of white out that area. So I white it out and then I just re-stamp it and it was much better. Now I want to further highlight around those, um, around the quote, but I didn't want to use more paint. I wanted a different texture and a different um, feel. And so I just grabbed my soft pastel in white and just began to highlight around it. I did fix everything with Spectrafix um, because there's char charcoal, charcoal and um, soft pastels all over the place so I did fix it um, with my spectra fix So I'm going to do some shading around the uh, quote and around the flowers with my General's Charcoal Pencil and um, really add some depth to those to help them pop off the page. I'll add some additional scribbles and some additional marks with my soft pastels.
So there you can see I added some washi tape and the camera didn't wasn't on. <laughs> Um, I just grabbed some washi tape. I needed something to connect the two pages together, and it was perfect. And the, that splash of color and interest and polka dots really kind of defined the whole thing, and I felt like it really pulled it together. So now I'm taking my gel pen in black and white and just highlighting, um, bringing attention to the focal points, um, adding some doodles, some interest, to really make them stand out because there's a lot going on on the page. X's and O's and dots and different things like that, dashes and lines to just really accentuate those um, flowers and the words. So I hope you enjoyed today's um, project and um, you can check out all of the links in the description box. Stick around for the um, conversation at the end where I share the meaning behind the quote. And I'm just now doodling out all of my thoughts again with my gel pen. And that's it, my friends. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday and um, I will see you next week. Hello lovies, happy Sunday to you. And look at this cutie. This was just fun playtime in my journal and just getting all the colors out and just really feeling the 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 uh, quote behind this and all of the layers that go with the quote and um gosh it was just so much fun and I worked with different colors I, I didn't even really do any collage which is really really crazy for me because everything usually starts with paper and I just I just got my color down and went for it and I did use that green and that blue which I don't typically use and um, I, my word for this year is discover and so I'm just trying to discover new ways to do things and ah uh, so I just had so much fun. I played and played and played. So a couple things before we get into the quote and the meaning behind that. Um, coming up in the next week or so. So um, I'm going to resume. I stopped doing Crash the Stash on Thursdays um, just because there wasn't enough time. But I am going to do it once, at least once a month. Um, very, very simple and kind of compressed down into a quick journal page. Um, and no real voiceover or instruction or anything, just some inspiration for you. And again, I'm doing it so that I can use up all the. <laughs> copious amounts of papers that I have um, it's kind of insane so and I just I love my journal is like this friend that I come home to and so I love working in my journal um, second thing is is that also once a month I'm going to be back and more involved in the creative souls cafe Facebook page um, it just life has gotten so busy and the business has grown so much but I've actually hired another person and so I've now feeling like maybe I've got a little bit more time to do some of the things that I really love 
and so I'll be doing live videos in the um, Facebook page and I will let you guys know on social media and that kind of stuff and through my newsletter um, when I'm doing that so that you can jump in and what I want to do is answer your questions in the live videos like art questions and things like that so I, I get asked questions all the time so I'm going to kind of address those talk about different things that I use and do and just try to answer a lot of the questions that actually happen in the Facebook cafe page um, setting so and then I have a new workshop coming I am so close to it being done but I thought I would give you just a quick sneaky peek. So um, let me grab. So I'm not going to show you too too in detail or go into, but I just want to show you how it, the the workshop is called Collage Flowers, and it's just been so much fun. So there's one project, two project, three project. Four project, five, oh. and then there's bonus projects on top of that. So there's like a total of eight different projects that we do based around um, whimsical flowers, not real life whimsical flowers, and um, just getting messy and playing and letting go and really practicing on getting loose and having fun. And of course, collaging all these wonderful bits of elements and different things in there. So I can't wait. It should be, um, I should have it finalized in the next week or so. So be on the lookout for that. Okay, that is all my um, thoughts of, of stuff coming up that I wanted, wanted you guys to be aware of. So this says, find joy in the journey. And... I have been reading Mary Oliver's books and have just been in heaven. I mean, they're just they're just so um, visual and uh, the her wording is it, it's like she's painting this picture with her words, which is of course what writers do, but her poetry is just I don't I can't even really explain it. Um, if you've read her her stuff, you know it. If you haven't read it, you should. Um, it's just wonderful inspiration and ju it just makes me feel full and rich. But every single thing that I have read of hers so far is how she, and what I've taken from it is how she notices everyday things. A twig on the ground, um, how the water's running down a brook, um, how the trees sound in the wind. I mean, just it just is so magnificent. And so as I'm reading all of this, I'm just gathering, 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 and you're reading it. There's like one line in each each poem that just like, uh, like I got to remember that. I got to write it down. So I've just been writing and writing um, her quotes down. But this one, let me see. Hang on a second here. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, so it says, don't hesitate. If you suddenly and unexpectedly feel joy, don't hesitate. Give into it. And I thought that, just that quote alone, I could do about a million paintings on, pieces on. But I thought about how she finds those moments of joy in just the everyday, in a walk. Different things like that. Okay, so, um, just a... I had the, the dog was going crazy and the um, do doorbell and everything, you know, happens all when I turn on the camera. But going back to finding the joy in the moment, um, I, I really encourage you to check out Mary Oliver's books because most everything that she writes is about these little tiny moments of time um, that she's present and she is finding the joy in that in her journey in her walk in every little detail and I am so guilty of not being present and looking to the next deadline and to the next thing and work 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 and not really slowing down long enough to really find the joy um, in my journey sometimes sometimes it's better than others and there are seasons 
happens when it's really great and we do have those times and then there are sometimes there's times where we have to really make it happen we have to really work at it and journaling and art is is one of my best ways of slowing down making things stop turning things off tuning everything out and really reflecting and really focusing on the actual joy in my life and there's so much so much to be joyful for so much to be grateful for um, I just some when I really sit down to think about it I'm, I'm overwhelmed by by my life and and really the season that I'm in knock on wood that things are are the way that they are are they perfect no do are there issues yes but in general I can take a look and really find some joy in just a single day and um, how grateful I am for that so loves I tell you all this to to just most of everything that I do is as a reminder for you and for me really for me because I'm always creating from a place of what I'm needing or where I'm at or what's going on and um, I just want to remind you that to take a deep breath and to really slow down things for just a second to realize um, how how much joy is in just the moment that you're in laughter a good friend your kids hugs a hot meal I mean there's those things are, are joy to me um, being able to create being able to get up and go to work joy 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 oh my gosh so much so much to be grateful for and I wrote out all of my all of my joy here I, I just anything that came to my mind that makes me smile that makes my heart skip a beat that you know all of those things ah oh, so so good and I just want to read Mary's quote to you again don't hesitate if you suddenly and unexpectedly feel joy sometimes we feel joy and we we will wash it away because we're not used to really seeing it or recognizing it or feeling it or giving it a space in our in our time in our day but don't hesitate if you suddenly unexpectedly feel joy don't hesitate give into it find it in your journey my loves um, so this Sunday I hope that you find your joy in whatever you're doing in just the smallest things in the sway of the trees and the sound of the water the snow falling um, whatever it is find your joy and feel restful today and always always know that you are loved <laughs>